Today, I'm doing an unboxing, which is unusual for our channel, I know, but this is something I've been waiting for for a long time, and it's very appropriate if you want to add a little bit more insanity to your game. I can't really remember what I got, but there were a load of stretch goals. They're also extremely thoroughly bubble wrapped. But this is the uh, second batch of uh, Cthulhu Elder Dice, uh, which was an extremely successful Kickstarter. Um, absolutely tons and tons of money went into this. I'm assuming th those are just dice, three little dice. Uh, so let's get these out and have a look at them. Now this one, th this is a playmat, uh, which I remember getting as part of the sort of extras. I can't remember which one I've got though. Um, ooh, it's that one there. Very, very nice. I do remember actually it was extremely difficult to pick the mat that I wanted because there were just so many awesome mats. But I thought, no, I'll go for this one because it's got sort of the, the classic sort of tendrils and the Cthulhu Mythos type writing. But at the same time, you know, you could use it for other things as well. In fact, one of my ideas was to use it for things like Star Realms or Tarot or something like that. So these are some of the dice. These D6s, there are a lot of them, came as, again as part of stretch goals. So we've got the, um, the Elder Sign, of course, very classic. This one, uh, this is the Band of Cthulhu, so it's got like a sort of a Cthulhu octopus C type logo on there. And then we've got the Astral Elder sign, so it's sort of a slight variation. And then there's a few D100s and D20s as well, which I think you got if you backed it on the first day, which I did. Now, one thing in particular as well was some of these are part of the first batch and they were sort of offering them again, um, but it was difficult to pick which ones just because of the combinations of what you get. One thing I'm particularly happy with are these D20 coins and they upgraded them to a larger size and they're sort of a better quality than they were originally going to do them because again, stretch goals are all very nice. So they're the Elder Sign, uh, the Astral Elder Sign and the uh, Band of Cthulhu. But then as part of the other batch, we've got the Yellow Sign, one of my favourites. We've got the Sigil of the Dreamlands, and we've got the Mark of the Necronomicon. So I thought I'd dig out some campaign coins to get a bit of a comparison between these Cthulhu ones. These you can use, for example, for inspiration in D&D &D and things like that. You've got bronze, silver, gold, and I think there's platinum. I'm assuming it's platinum or pewter or something. But uh, yeah, they're, they're quite nice looking, but uh, already I'm seeing that I prefer these ones because they're much bigger. They're much thicker as well. I love the uh, little insets of colour in them as well. It's not completely in keeping with Cthulhu because Cthulhu is normally percentile, uh, but at the same time you could definitely have one of these as inspiration or, I don't know, something as an advantage or reward, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's really cool. I just, I love how thick they are. You could not break that unless you put like sheer force into that. So yeah, I'm really happy with those. Now this was probably the most exciting thing that you could get. So this is an actual GM screen. It is system neutral, uh, but it has all the, the logos all on this lovely sort of red backing there. And I thought that would be absolutely gorgeous to have. It would just make a nice change to the sort of 1920s look. Oh, I see. When it says system neutral, I thought it meant as in like to literally any game. So we're talking sort of fake D&D, &D, but no. This has got various Cthulhu locations, so the dreamlands and all that, various elder gods, creatures, uh, tomes and manuscripts as well. Obviously the Necronomicon's there, but there's the uh, Natonic fragments and also symbols. So the seal of the Auburn path, uh, you know, sigils of the dreamlands, all that stuff. That's really cool and I love this back as well. It is absolutely gorgeous. And just holding this, this is really good quality really good stuff and oh i'm really really happy with that that is amazing and then finally onto the main event so this is literally the base part of the kickstarter you've got these little pins which come with these little book type compartments if you will and in each of these is a set of dice 
with all the different logos on them. I'm liking, just again, feeling the quality is really good. This is quite sort of sturdy. And uh, I do like the designs as well on each of the different faces. It's lovely. So here's an example of one of them. So this is the elder sign. And uh, is it magnetized? Yes, it is magnetized. And inside you've got the dice set and they look really good. I'll take those out in a minute, obviously. And you've also got a little, you've got a little card thing of what each of the symbols mean. So obviously in this case, the elder sign. And again, you've got more designs inside the books. So I guess we better roll them and see how nicely they roll across. Okay, and as you can see, like many dice nowadays, but this is one of the main focuses of it, you get the logos on the highest value. So obviously on the sixes there, on the 20 there, on the, the zero, zero there. They're pretty good quality. They're nothing like the science dice or the really heavy, hefty ones or anything like that. And uh, from other people who've already received theirs, I know there's been a little bit of a problem with a couple of them with just the paint um, or, say, for example, that the numbers aren't completely uh, filled in. Uh, there is a very slight example with this four where it, it is still fine, but there's a very slight sort of it hasn't been done quite enough. But apart from that, yeah, they look really, really good. Um, I really like the colours in particular. That sort of mother of pearl look, but it's not too brash, I suppose. Um, I think my favourite ones at the moment are the blue ones. But yeah, these are absolutely awesome. I'm especially happy with the matte and the DM screen. Again, that, that was the thing I was most excited about. So I will use these very much beyond the realms of madness in my games. And if you've got one as well, then I hope you get yours very soon. And if you've already got it, then I hope you enjoy it because the guys behind this do an amazing, amazing job. And they've already started a new Kickstarter for the Colors Out of Space. So go and back it if you still have money, which I, I don't. Hey everybody, and thanks for watching our little unboxing video. We've been working hard on Compass 2 behind the scenes at the moment, so thank you to each and every one of you for your patience. Especially our beloved Fruit Bowls featured below, who donate to us on Patreon. More content will be coming your way shortly, so just bear with us. But in the meantime, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications in your inbox. I just, I love how thick they are. Like, you could not break that really, unless you put... Oh, the camera person could trip. <laughs>